Hi everyone, I'm Rockin' Robin. Today I've got a really quick tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to roast peppers. Now it can be anything from your sweetest peppers all the way to your hottest habaneros and everything in between doesn't really matter. So it's simple and easy to do and it'll only take a minute and I'll show you right after this. I'm going to be showing you how to roast two different types of chilies today. One is the Anaheim chili, which you'll see these a lot of times that they come in a can just like this one here. And now you're going to be able to do it yourself and you don't have to buy the can. And then over here I have uh, three Poblamo chilies and I will be showing you two ways to do it. The easiest and the fastest way is on the stove, right over a burner if you have a gas stove. And the second way I'm going to show you is in the oven under a broiler in case you don't have that gas stove. And you can also do the barbecue as well. So here we go with our quick and easy way to roast. Let's say you only need a couple of peppers. You don't need that many. Or, you know, I've got uh, five burners, so I could do two on each burner. But what you want to do here is I've rinsed and dried my peppers. And so you're just going to place them right on the top of your grate. And just let them sit. And you're going to start to hear them pop. Oops, get it on top of the grate there. Don't be stubborn. Let's see if we can get them to stay. Huh. This one is not cooperating. Okay, we'll rearrange. And these are going to blister up. This is the fastest way to cook these uh, compared to doing it in the oven or even on the barbecue grill. And you have the most control because you can see exactly what's going on. You can lift it up. You can check. You can see here that it's already blistered. So we're going to want to blister that up real quick. So you can see how nice and charred up that one is. And this one's coming along nicely. We want to get most of it charred. I mean, you can still see some green here. But we're going to work on that. Once these get all charred all over the whole um, exterior, I'm going to place it into a bowl. I'm using a glass bowl and then I'm going to cover it with saran wrap. You could also use a, a paper bag if you want. Now this one here looks pretty done to me, so I'm going to go ahead and place it into my bowl. Just take a piece of saran wrap and seal up your bowl. And we're going to let that steam. That's just going to help loosen up the skin and um, it'll cook it a little bit more as that heat penetrates. So we'll let that sit for about five to ten minutes. The peppers have been steaming now for about ten minutes and I'm going to go ahead and take them out and show you how we uh, finish them up. Now you can use these two particular kind of peppers in pretty much any recipe that calls for a pepper. Now you want to be careful because these can be spicy. This one, the Anaheim, you're not going to have too much trouble with. Um, so we just take a paper towel. I like to use a paper towel and just kind of rub the skin off. You can see how easily that comes off. Don't touch your face when you're dealing with peppers, especially the hot ones like the habaneros, or you will not be a happy camper. Don't rinse your pepper under the water to get all this off because you're going to just rinse away all the great flavor. So just rub it off. Paper towel works really nice for this. And then from here on this particular pepper, you can cut the stem off. And there are some seeds in there. You can take them out or leave them in, whichever you prefer. And then you can just dice this up. You know, if you're making guacamole or something and you want some of this to put in there, it's a great way to do it. Now I'm going to show you the second way to roast your peppers. And what we're going to do is put them in the oven at, on broil. And you can do it there or you can do it in the barbecue, just in case you don't have a gas stove. All right, so it's basically the same thing. We're going to put, uh, I've got a foil lined baking sheet right here, and I'll just place my peppers on there. And you'd want this method, or you'd want to use this method when you're, when you need to roast a lot of peppers. Let's say you want to do a bunch of bell peppers because you want to add them to your salad and your sandwiches or, you know, your pasta dish or whatever. Then this would be a good way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and place this into a preheated broil oven over there and um, we'll let it go. It's going to take a little longer with this. It just takes longer to cook, maybe 10 to 20 minutes. So you're going to place your pan in the high, on the highest rack closest to the heating element. So we're going to have a look here. It's been about five minutes. These have been on, under the broiler. 
I'm gonna pull them out a little bit and you can see they're starting to get a little charred. We wanna get, we wanna get them more charred. I'm not gonna turn them over yet. So the peppers that were in the oven finish off just like the others. They, I put them in the bowl. I'm gonna cover them with the plastic wrap and you know, you treat it the same and you clean them up the same. There's no difference at all. It's just that the oven method takes just a little bit longer, that's all. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. I know I had one person uh, ask me if how to do this, so um, if you have any requests for me on, on how, you know, a video that you wanna see me make, be sure and leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.